I know. I know. I already know what you're thinking. And yes, I stand by what I said when it comes to this set, Evolutions. <laughs> What's up guys, Professor K here for Evolutionaries Gaming, and uh, today we've got some Kanto Power Collection boxes. We've got the Mewtwo and Slowbro version, and also the Pidgeot and the Dragonite version. Ten total Evolutions packs in each one of these boxes. I'm going to go out and make my official statement right now. I've been seeing a lot of people watching some older videos that probably have just come into the community recently as a result of the recent boom in the vintage sets, mostly base sets, and Evolutions being the next closest thing that most people can afford to Evolutions with base sets skyrocketing like you would not believe. And a lot of my videos, N and I have criticized Evolutions as a set, not because of the set itself, but because of how much Pokemon has printed of this set and how many packs they've put in every single product that ever existed. So I'm going to start this video by saying I appreciate the fact that the Evo Charizard has gone up significantly in value. However, I still stand by the fact that I feel like this set has, was and is overproduced, overinserted into many, many products, and just overdone and overkilled and over everything in my opinion to me the monetary value of a set or a card within a set does not justify whether or not it's just tired of being looked at <laughs> and i think a lot of people share that same sentiment i can appreciate the fact that the card is up in value but i'm kind of tired of evolutions being in everything and they made these two boxes exclusively for evolutions now in this day and age it works to the advantage of many because it gives people an opportunity to hunt down another uh, Evolutions Charizard. But again, and I've said this before, specifically yesterday in the Vivage Voltage Booster Box opening, to me, the value of cards means nothing. It's all about loving the trading card game and the hobby itself. I don't think a set automatically becomes better just because it's got a valuable card in it or because a card in it suddenly went up in value. But Evolutions is a very nostalgic set. I loved it when it came out. I still think it's an awesome set, but it just got overdone. That's my only point to it. I don't hate the set. I think it's great. It's nostalgic. It's got a lot of, a lot of staying power in that regard because a lot of people, it, it looks like base set. But again, I'm going to stand by what I said, regardless of the fact that there's a value increase, a high value increase at that. I don't change my opinion about what I've said in the past about this set, and I'm still going to open these products because they are still brand new products, and I'm still fine with it. If we pull a Charizard, fantastic. Honestly, I only have one left. I took all my other ones, and yeah, I did sell them because there was a time where we needed the money for it, so if we pull more Charizards, all the better for my collection, but... Kanto Power Collection boxes, let's get them started here. All right, all the power of Kanto Pokemon. Explore the power of the Kanto region with this Pokemon trading card game collection, including a massive oversized card and 10 booster packs. This collection also brings you two powerful Pokemon EX with HP and attacks far beyond most Pokemon and a treasure trove of XY Evolutions booster packs to expand your choices and add wild, strong, and wonderful Pokemon to, of all types to your collection. Now, I feel like they probably have the same thing on this box as well. They do indeed. So there's no need to read the back of both of the boxes. There you go, just for proof. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get started. I just wanted to put that little disclaimer out there because I've been uh, responding to a lot of comments recently that are like, oh, I bet you don't mind evolutions now that all it's got the value in it. But truth be told, it makes no difference to me. Because as a collector and as a, a Pokemon TCG uh, booster pack opener, an enjoyer of opening booster packs, you get tired of seeing the same cards, whether they're valuable or not. And uh, that's the whole thing. To me, there's value in rarity. And there has not been much rarity of evolutions. So, in any case, if we do pull a Charizard, I'm going to be thrilled. But it's not everything, is my point. All right, so right off the bat, you do get the set cards of Mewtwo EX and Slowbro EX. 
So these are not promos. They are not alternate printings. They're not special foil versions of these cards. They are straight up the EX cards from the set. So it's just like you pulled them right out of the packs. I'm actually just going to leave them in there. And focus on the jumbo card, which is, of course, of Mewtwo EX. Very nice looking jumbo card. And we've got our 10 packs. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And a code card from Evolutions. All right. So Mewtwo box over here. I'm going to go ahead and open up the Dragonite box. Dragonite Pidgeot box. Don't want to miss the love for Pidgeot because uh, both of these cards actually did have a playability factor at some point. Pidgeot for its mirror move attack and Dragonite for its place in the Mega Gardevoir decks with the pull-up ability uh, being able to play this Pokemon from your hand on your bench and put two basic Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. The idea is you discard your Pokemon with the Mega Gardevoir and then you bring them back. So, okay. Then of course you got the Pidgeot EX and the Dragonite EX. Ooh, sorry about that guys. Awkward. My, uh, <laughs> that was weird. I guess the arm of my my microphone actually hit the, record, the stop record button on my microphone. In any case, there's the Pidgeot EX, there's the Dragonite EX. Those are, of course, set cards as well. So right there, you get four EX cards from Evolution right off the bat. If you didn't have them before, now you do. It's like you pulled them fresh out of a pack. So, solid. Okay. Plastics out of the way. We're going to start with the packs from the Mewtwo box first. Tilt this camera down and get this party started. So we're going to start off with the Raichu pack of Evolutions. Now again, this will take a lot of people, especially those who were just coming back to the TCG, uh, down a trip of memory lane because these cards are very reminiscent of base sets. But they have been around since 2016, so they are a four-year-old set. As a matter of fact, the pre-releases for Evolutions literally happened four years ago. Well, almost to the day, um, October 27th, 2016, I've got pictures of myself holding up a Mega Charizard EX full art uh, from my my memories. So, almost four years to the day. We got a Poliwag, a Ghastly, Magnemite, Seal, Charmander, Porygon, Full Heal, Poliwhirl, Reverse Switch, and a Beedrill. So again, very reminiscent of base set. A lot of nostalgia behind this. And again, for those who have not been around for as long as I have necessarily, um, or who have been around since Evolutions has come out, you guys are going to love this set. It's fantastic. It's, it's, it's childhood all over again. Oh, oops. Sorry about that. I just realized I did the pack trick from uh, Sun and Moon because XY has a different pack trick. We've got an Electabuzz, Vulpix, Sandshrew, Onyx, Magikarp, Energy Retrieval, Blastoise Spirit Link, Pidgeot Spirit Link, Reverse Hollow Onyx, and an Electrode. Regular Rare. You know what? I need to, uh... I need to put my, my stacks back so I can split everything up properly. Because I like to keep things ni nice and tight and clean and tidy when I'm opening up my card. So I got, oh my gosh, I'm still doing this, guys. I am so sorry. <laughs> it's so hard to break out of Sun and Moon and Sword and Shield era pack tricks when you've done nothing but open up Sun and Moon and Sword and Shield packs for four solid years. Highly World Reverse, and as you probably saw, a Dugong. I am so sorry about that. I will actively think about what I am doing on these next few packs because that was... Not cool. All right. Three and then two. There we go. We have Ratata. I don't know why I said it like that, but now that's what it is. Caterpie, Magnemite, Voltorb, Sandshrew, Metapod, Professor Oak's Hint. This is the card I was trying to think of um, from Wednesday's video. The um, Snorlax ability, Gormandize. Double colorless energy, Ponyta, and a Mega Pidgeot! EX! Very nice. Very nice. The Megas do look really good in this set, too. And that does add to the uh, effect of the set. 
Oh no, I dropped a card. All right, so we got one hit so far out of these 10 packs. You can pretty much expect anywhere from two to three hits, I would feel like, out of these boxes. See, I'm trying to throw it away like there's an energy there, and there's no energy there. Nidoran, Ponyta, Drowsy, Electabuzz, Vulpix, Charizard, Spirit Link, Double Colorless Energy, Machoke, Weedle Reverse, and a far-fetched, non hollow rare, the Leak Pokemon, the Leak Duck Pokemon, or Wild Duck Pokemon. But he likes his leaks. Three, and almost did it again. Man, old, old habits die hard. Charmander, Psychic Energy, Pikachu, Growlithe, Machop, Energy Retrieval, Blastoise Spirit Link, Pidgeot Spirit Link, Nidoking Reverse, and an Arcanine. Regular rare. All right, four packs left to go. One, two, three, and let's not throw that off to the side. It's a struggle, guys. I'm not even going to lie to you. <laughs> not easy at all. Brock's Grit, Slowbro Spear Link, Full Heal, and a Polyrath Hollow. There you go. Polyrath. That off to the side there. I'm expecting at least one more pull out of these 10 packs. If the ratio stands to reason, and I did it again. I am the literal worst. Man, this is what happens when you try to do three long video recordings, plus editing, um, and also work a, a regular shift in your day job. It just is not a good combination, and I think I've said that in each and every one of these three videos. <laughs> the brain stops working after a while. Three, two. All right. Poliwag, Seal, Magikarp, Lightning Energy, Caterpie, Porygon, Full Heal, Poliwhirl, Reverse Electabuzz, and a Mega Charizard EX. Air Horns. <laughs> Mega Charizard EX, very nice. This is uh, Charizard Y. Crimson Dive, 300 damage. And oddly enough, as much as you would think, that is nowhere near the value of the Hollow Charizard because the Hollow Charizard is reminiscent of the base set Charizard. It's the one instance that a Hollow is worth more than an Ultra Rare in a set. Oops, I don't want to go that route. Don't want to throw it off to the side. Electabuzz, Drowsy, Staryu, Metal Energy, Steel Energy, however you want to put it. Growlithe, Pidgeot, Spirit Link, Metapod, and Makuni's Doe Duo, a technical secret rare. Kind of an awkward card uh, in the set, put in the common and uncommon slot, but it's actually a rare, not even just a rare, but it's a secret rare based off the numerical order. And Makuni's Doe Duo is a... Uh, a hand-drawn card that actually mostly is uh, known for being in the Japanese language. But they put it over here in Evolutions, so kind of neat. Nidorino and a Gyarados! Alright, so we actually got four hits out of six. I am going to put this in here because, believe it or not, these are actually going up in value as well for a while. They weren't even worth a quarter. And then all of a sudden, they're starting to slowly creep up. And even the Pikachus are starting to get to be a few dollars a piece, which is weird. Because they were pretty common. Oh yeah. Let's not throw those off to the side again. Yeesh. Alright, so now we're focusing on the Dragonite and Pidgeot box to see what kind of pulls we end up with out of those 10 packs. We are halfway through so far. Here comes Team Rocket is another secret rare. Number 113 out of 108. And it's just randomly inserted just like the other ones. Uh, the Flying Pikachu, the Surfing Pikachu, Imakuni, the Team Rocket. Reverse Machamp! <gasps> well. GG's, guys. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Oh boy. Pardon me for one moment. Professional thing and share with some friends here real quick. While I'm recording. Specifically, my friends Nick and Jesse are going to see this right now. Because I cannot believe that I literally just did this right now. <laughs> well guys, this is the card that everyone is going crazy over right now. The Evolutions Hollow Charizard. Currently in the neighborhood of $300. All because the base set Charizard shot through the roof like you would not believe and there it is in all of its charred lizard glory <laughs> unbelievable well time to give evolutions its due right <laughs> oh man what a day what a night for those of you who have watched every video we have posted so far since Wednesday there has been some serious luck on my side with pulls. I don't know what in the world happened, but we have gotten incredibly lucky with uh, general pull luck. It's been crazy. Voltorb, Charmander, Diglett, Ghastly, Coughing, Maintenance. There's the other one. This is uh, the Exeggutor Secret Rare. So there's another one to go in a, in a sleep here in a minute. And a Mew Hollow. This is one of the prettier ones, in my opinion. One of the first Mew Hollows to ever exist. But, um, very, very nice looking Mew. I'm actually going to sleeve this one too, because it's one of my favorite Mew Hollows. I still have it as a promo as well. And we're going to sleeve this up too, just for the fun of it. Craziness, you guys. Absolute craziness. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? That we would pull the Charizard out of these boxes. And something told me it was going to be, and if anything, it was going to be the Dragonite and the Pidgeot box. Because everyone would want the Mewtwo box. It seems like the more popular Pokemon, generally, more times than not, has the worst pulls. Which to me is strange. And a beautiful Ninetales reverse. And Eradicate, regular rare. Ninetales has a very, very nice card um, from the base set era, in my opinion. And what's with all these backward codes cards all of a sudden? I mean, that gives it away, obviously, but I don't understand where they're coming from. The other ones weren't reversed. Now all these are. Ghastly, Charmander, Rattata, Pokedex, Kakuna, man. Potion, Reverse Poliwag, and a Zapdos! Zapdos Hollow. Very nice, very nice. Another one of my favorites from that era. Five packs remaining, and we've been really lucky. I think we've gone four for five. Yeah, I think we went four for five. One, two, three. Or maybe not. I don't even know anymore. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. No, never mind. I can't count. Sorry. We've done really well out of this box. How much I will say. The only thing that would top this off now is a reverse hollow Charizard, right? <laughs> Could you imagine? Machop, Voltorb, Diglett, Caterpie, Pikachu, Blastoise, Spirit Link, Switch, Nidorino, Reverse, Revive, and another Raticate. That's like the third straight regular rare Raticate out of all the regular rares that have happened in the last few packs. Three straight Raticate. What the heck is that? Ah, uh, what? Y'all saw that come right out of the pack, just like this. What is that? I 
it's like the ink is all messed up. I'm going to put that off to the side to have someone look at that one for me because that's a first. I have no idea what that even is. Fire Energy, Voltorb, Charmander. Now I'm like looking at every card because I'm like, that just is odd. Sandshrew and an Arcanine, regular rare. So we broke the streak of Raticates, but what is with the ink on that Vulpix? It ain't on this Vulpix. Huh. Sometimes you just come, come across a really strange card for no reason. Vulpix, Fire Energy, Voltorb, Charmander, Diglett, Switch, Machoke, Full Heal, Nidoran, Reverse, and a Doug Trio, regular rare. Three packs to go. Oh, upside down card again. All right, Pikachu, Ponyta, Nidoran, Vulpix, Dark Energy, Brock's Grits, Professor Oak's Hint, Metapod, Reverse, Arcanine, and a Starmie, regular rare. Oops. All right, come on. Open up all the way, please. Thank you. Three, two. All right. Poliwag, Pikachu, Ponyta, Nidoran, Vulpix, Venusaur Spirit Link, Potion, Metapod, Reverse Raichu, and a Farfetch'd. All right, so we are down to our final pack of Evolutions, and it is a hit. What kind of hit shall it be? All right. Ponyta, Doduo, Staryu, Seal, Charmander, Brock's Grit, Professor Oak's Hint, Metapod, Charmeleon, and Ninetales. There's that pretty hollow. Nice. Very, very nice indeed. Well, that was pretty darn successful overall, if you think about it. Again, like I said, I'm still excited about Charizards, even though I know that Evolutions is a little bit tiring for some people. Um, and it did, was getting to that point for us as well, but you can't argue. The Fire Lizard comes through once again. All right, so we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hollows out of, or eight hollows are better, I should say, out of 20 packs. Pretty good odds right there. Pretty solid, pretty solid. And most of them were actually hollows, with only one of them being a regular EX, well, Mega regular EX, and a Mega Full Art Pidgeot EX. Very nice, very nice. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this uh, Kanto Powers box opening. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe for more TCG content. I'm going to have to find out what's up with that Vulpix because that's very strange to me. Be sure to join us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash evolutionariesgaming for live TCG openings every two to three weeks on Saturday afternoons. And then, of course, on seven or on weekdays, seven o'clock. Uh, on Mondays and 7 o'clock on Fridays Eastern Standard Time. We go live again. And uh, yeah. Oh, and the Discord server as well. Very, very important. Discord.gg slash Evolutionaries Gaming. Be a part of a really awesome community. And we hope to see you guys there. So until then, we'll see you guys next time. Take care and have a great day.